here at the Psycho Open Week 2022, uh, one thing is, of course, we have been talking to a lot of the companies that do inks, do substrates, uh, do the controller technologies, do a lot of different things. We have also already spoken to some people that are actually built machines based on the Seiko technology. And one of them is uh, Christian from Idago. Christian, it looks really nice, the, the color. And when you said the name, I thought that, okay, I have an idea, I go to you to get it done. That's it. That was a grand idea uh, to find this uh, name for our company. Yes, okay. Because we help our customers uh, with their ideas to bring the ideas to the running. Mm. And, and uh, doing that, I mean, because I mean, everything here, even though it's uh, more like a sample uh, that you have brought here to showcase technology, uh, it really looks very robust. I think, like, is that what you also try to uh, do when you do your products? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, um, we manufacture the complete machines and uh, we try to manage as robust as possible because um, often they are in uh, some uh, environments where, uh, where they are very, very hardly. And, and so that's the reason why you have to build it like this. Mm. And what, what kind of machines do you build? Is it, like, uh, is it like mass production or is it always like one-off machines kind of? Um, no, it's very special because uh, up to now we build each machine only one time because we find the solution for a product idea of our customers. Mm. Um, and in that way, there is everything we build up to now. So uh, uh, we, we have to print on boxes, we have to print on, on um, wooden piece of pa uh, pieces, we have to print on uh, what, whatever you want. So that's very, very big range of uh, substrates we are printing on. Uh, it is just the idea of our customers, mm. not our ideas. And uh, what types of customers do typically approach you? Uh, pardon, once again. Yeah, what, 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 are the t what, what type of customers do typically approach you? Um, the cost is <laughs> very interesting. It, it depends on the project. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, for example, when you, when you showed me before the, the, the green box that you're printing on all the sides of it, uh, I mean, that is, it seems that it could be a logistics customer, but it could be a pharmaceutical, it could be anything, basically, right? Yes, that's, yeah. that's right. Yeah. And it, it just depends on the, the project we have to okay. um, uh, work on. And um, sometimes we have very big projects as uh, the sports project, and sometimes we have just small projects like this machine here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, when you, There's we have seen uh, some of the samples here during the, the show, so this is more like to, to show what is possible, right? This is just for the show here to, yeah. to, to show what it is possible with the printhead of Psycho, yeah. because this is uh, printed in this machine here, yeah. just this morning. Yeah. Um, it is printed in a horizontal situation of the um, yeah. printhead with a high distance of 22 mil. Yeah. So, so that basically means that with, with the technology that you utilize from the Seiko printheads, basically mean that you can have the printheads on a certain distance, for example, if you yep. look at this bat, you can see that the handle is okay, still like a little bit dirty here, right? <laughs> yeah. But you can see, that's, oh, yesterday you had like uh, ink all over the place. You still have it, right? Yes, I had, <laughs> but we fixed this problem. We fixed it, yeah. <laughs> no, so basically here the situation is that the handle is thicker than where you print. Yes. So basically when you move the print head, you basically need to be able to of course, have this to pass under it, but you need to be able to get yes. on the With surface. this setting we found here in this high distance of 22 mil, we have uh, the chance to print uh, on the flat surface with a high distance, mm. but we also can print on uh, 3D surfaces. Ah, okay. So if you have some uh, some curves on the, on the surface, uh, we can print on the surface. Uh, maybe if there is a ball on the top, um, and then we can also print the complete information. So you, on so you could basically have printed here if you wanted to? Yes, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Because, I mean, when you look at this, I think that a lot of people who is not in engineers or technical people will think that, okay, it must be difficult to print on it is, not even surfaces. It is, right? but uh, we found with our settings here in this uh, situation a solution to print on this uh, different uh, distances to the uh, to the printer yes. when uh, you, when you talk about that you have it uh, in, in in this direction and a horizontal direction and, and you print uh, on the, from the side on yep. to, the, to the is that something that you have specialized in or is it just an example of what you do um, we just developed this printing process for for one customer but we are sure that there are several more customers okay. uh, on the market but I was which, thinking, which where, where the need is for this uh, print solution. Yeah, I, I was, I was, uh, I was uh, asking because I did go, do you only do vertical prints or you also do no, like... No, we okay. do everything. Okay. We, so basically it's a matter of the application. You develop it from 
I mean, from the components that fits the purpose and the inks that fits the purpose, and basically you help customers getting the, the business done, basically. That's right? it. Yeah. We're helping our customers, their idea mm. to go on, mm. to, to run. Um, we have talked to quite a few people here during the past, uh, yesterday and today. Um, everybody talks about industrial print, and that is, of course, what we're talking about here. Um, do you see any resemblance to how you work as also from the graphics arts industry? Because I, the reason I'm asking is just because, you know, you always look for, uh, we come from the graphics arts industries, you yep. always look at can technology be yep. utilized in different yep. segments, right? For, for us, it is not a market. No, no. Okay. Uh, because if we are too small and we are um, there to find solutions for special mm. products, for mm. special um, ideas, mm. because for this, um, market there are bigger companies who are much more in better yeah. in that yeah, yeah. Um, but but it seems that that uh, when we talk about industrial print because i mean we have talked to some of the other you know, a few competitors slash colleagues here yeah. uh, and it seems that there is a market for having these specialized machines that do special applications right there is yeah, there right. is uh, at the moment we have approximately 10 projects running okay so and each project is totally different to the other one okay so but uh, it must also require quite a lot from a company like yours because basically you need to know about the, the ink you need to know about the printheads you need to know about the controller techno technology you need to know about the hardware you also need to know about the computer and, and, and the programming side yes. of it so it's a diverse business right it's a, it's a wide range of uh, knowledgement you need and you need uh, very good partners. Mm. And uh, I think uh, with Saiko as a printhead manufacturer and a uh, lot of um, ink manufacturers, we have good partners which, uh, with uh, who we can work very mm. good mm. together. Yeah. What, what makes a, a printhead supplier a, a, a good and easy partner to work with from your perspective? Um, the most important thing for us is uh, that we get help uh, by the design of the waveform. Um, so that is one of the, the, the big things that you need help for, basically? Yes, for sure, yeah. uh, because that's a very important thing for every print production you need. Uh, we, if, if you change the distance, you have to change the waveform. If you change the ink, you have to change the waveform. And in that case, you have to work together. Mm -hmm. and that's what we do with Cycle very yeah, okay. well. So they have like the, the people that can support you when you have projects, yes, basically. Have, yeah. Yeah, okay. that's, uh, that must be nice, because uh, basically, as you say, you, you're depending on having the right partners to make sure that you can have the products and, and sell them. So it, it's uh, very important for us because we are a small company and we cannot do everything. Mm -hmm. And in that case, you need partners. Mm -hmm. We need partners for the selling. We need partners for for some parts we use, uh, for the ink we use, and we have to work together with them very closely. And so in that case, we can solve a lot of um, ideas for our customers. Last question. Is there anything you, you can't do? I don't know yet. <laughs> Up to now, we uh, solved everything we were asked for. Fantastic. Thank you very much.